Hello everybody, welcome back again to my channel e for everything this is Chirag and uh, in this video we are going to discuss about the youth mobility visa which is uh, recently signed between India and United Kingdom. Uh, this visa is already there between few of the countries with United Kingdom like Australia, New Zealand, Canada and Hong Kong and there are few of other countries which we will discuss later. Uh, this visa is really helpful for the youth. Uh, who are between age between 18 to 30 years and uh, they have really good uh, let opportunity to get uh, international experience of uh, stay and work inside the United Kingdom for two years. So I will give all the information in this video uh, about overview, eligibilities, uh, about how to apply, what are the documents you require, what is the fees, how long it will take, what you can and what you cannot do after. Uh, granting this visa uh, so uh, let's start so first of all let's start with the overview of this uh, visa it's it's uh, very simple and very straightforward first of all it is uh, in the name of this visa itself uh, describe the criteria it's a youth mobility visa that means the, the age should be between 18 years to 30 years for it there because this visa is for youngsters and they should have at least 2530 pounds savings in their account they should have at least for 28 days or 31 days when they are applying for this visa so it was the small overview now let's see the eligibility so you can apply for a youth mobility scheme visa uh, first of all if you are aged between 18 to 30 years now if you see the uh, list of the countries which is given in the UK uh, gov.uk website uh, India is not there yet but they have signed the contract so they will start this visa soon so if uh, there are a few of the agents they are already you know uh, giving this kind of advertisement that we are uh, helping you to give this visa or not but be careful it's not started yet it is just signed but yes there is, there is really good chances, there are huge chances of starting this visa between India and uh, United Kingdom because they have signed this uh, uh, officially. So right now there are, there are a few of the countries like Australia, Canada, Monaco, New Zealand, uh, uh, San Marino, Hong Kong, Japan. This, all these countries are uh, uh, right now available and uh, this list was updated in April 2021. So India is still not there. but it will be there so you should uh, be happy and you, know, you have good opportunity in future now let's see the documents which you need to provide uh, to uh, get this visa is a valid passport obviously then a bank statement uh, showing as I say showing you have at least 2530 pounds in your uh, saving accounts uh, and you need to show this at least for 28 days or 31 days there are few of the cases I show on YouTube that their visa was refused because of uh, the funds and uh, this is ba this is mainly this kind of errors are happen when when you are applying for the student visa so you need to be very careful whenever you're applying there should be the amount in your account consistently for 28 days and this uh, uh, should be within 31 days of applying for this visa so your bank statement should be not oh, not uh, older than 31 days it should be the new within 10 days 15 days is all right if you apply within 10 15 days of your bank statements that's all right but they are saying up to 31 days but for the our safety we should do 10 to 15 days that, that, that that's more better and so need to be very careful if you will if your visa will refuse because of funding you can if there is any kind of error is there you can go for AR that is called administrative review you know, to um, see if uh, there is any mistake from from college or some from UKVR or from that side but yeah 28 days you need to have that funds in your account then uh, you need a tuberculosis report TB report which is uh, uh, you can go and uh, test that uh, TB report from particular uh, hospitals which are uh, registered under the UKVI uh, then criminal record certificate then MOI this medium of inst instruction uh, letter from the university uh, 
another thing is document checklist now the document checklist you need to see and it will be given by the the uh, UKVI once you will complete your online application form at the end of the stage they will give you the document checklist that you need all these documents and because they don't know what kind of application you are going to apply so after completing your application they will generate one checklist uh, document which you need to uh, make sure that you are giving all the documents which are there inside that choc uh, document checklist uh, degree if you have uh, uh, in English uh, and experience letter additional document as an additional document if you want to add experience letter or something you can add in website they have not mentioned this document degree certificate or any kind of you know uh, additional experience letter but uh, you should uh, give that as well so very careful be very careful that that all these documents are mandatory uh, except this uh, experience letter like uh, tb report and uh, criminal check, uh, check criminal record certificate uh, medium of, medium of uh, sorry instructions from your college uh, and all these documents you need to provide in english if you will provide in uh, other language then there are certain other processes which you need to follow so and these are the documents you need to provide then there is a fees how long uh, the so fees is uh, uh, 244 pounds uh, to apply plus you need to pay healthcare surcharges as well so if you want to know how much you need to pay healthcare surcharges so th there is a calculator given in UKVA website I'll give the description below the uh, link below the description sorry so this uh, is the link uh, from where you can uh, calculate your uh, 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 health care charges. Health care surcharges is for NHS, for National Health uh, Service. Uh, if you are here and you are using this facility, obviously you need to use. So it's mandatory. Uh, so let's uh, calculate this. So if you are applying a loan and if you select applying a loan, then you need to click on next then uh, are you currently inside the uk i'm saying no are you applying uh, in uh, state of in stay in eye of isles of man no i'm not uh, are you under 18 or of course not this visa is for 18 between 18 to 30 years people now what is the nationality i'm saying india what is the visa route i am saying from here there is a long list you need to say youth mobility tire 5 t5 then what is the visa type obviously one option is left here you need to put your date so now uh, what I'm doing is I'm putting uh, 12th uh, 12th December 1995 because it should be between 18 to 30 years and if I calculate here it will show 940 pounds so uh, after you uh, uh, pay 244 pounds you need to pay 940 pounds for the health care charges which is refundable in case of your visa refusal if visa is refused that money will be credited in your account this 244 pounds will not okay now how long it will take the earlier earliest you can apply for this visa is six months before you travel for example you can apply from 16th of January if you plan to travel on 15th of July okay decision making is three weeks within three weeks they will give you decision what you can do once you will get visa what you can do you can study for some courses you will need an academic technology uh, approval scheme certificate work in most jobs be a self-employed and set up a company as long as your uh, premises are uh, rented uh, and your equipment is not worth more than five thousand pounds and you do not have any employees so yes that's it and uh, what you cannot do work as professional sports person like a coach obviously nobody is going to do that extend your stay you can't extend your stay there is very important point that after two years you need to go back and if you want to come back you can apply again in tier two or any other work category they have not mentioned that can you again apply in this visa i don't think so because this is for just for the you know gain experience uh, but you can apply for tier two or uh, any other global talent or any other visa you can't bring in a family member 
or you, uh, with uh, on your application and they must need to apply separately so this is not kind of a student visa uh, in student visa you can uh, you know apply as a partner but here you can't so yes this is the uh, information i hope you will uh, you like this video and it is useful for you uh, if you are uh, thinking to apply for youth mobility visa just wait and uh, keep uh, updating uh, keep looking that uh, link which i will give you in uh, uh, which is given uh, all the information are given in go.uk website so i'll give the link below the description you can check that link after every few days or few months to see the updates because they are always updating uh, that website once they have any kind of updates in UK immigration. So last update was in April 2021 and as I show you that uh, the, in that list uh, India is still not there but there is a huge chances of starting this visa between India and United Kingdom. So for the youth it is really really a good opportunity uh, to stay and work in United Kingdom. So if you like the video, don't forget to share, subscribe and give me thumbs up. Thank you so much.